Hello folks and professionals, let's welcome back. Let's try to check a simple scenario, how to delete condition records. It's a simple video. So I think you are of this, uh, this is the way you can able to delete it. The T code is VK12. Okay, let's try, let's get into the SAP. Okay, first thing, I'll uh, try to check sales order. Okay, so let's enter the customer. And with the sales area. Okay, let me enter this material. Okay, with this quantity. Let's double click this. Go to the conditions. Okay, currently PR00, it is showing a uh, thousand. I would like to delete this condition record or else GWHH. This is withholding reversal. Probably I can able to delete this record. If I double click here, I can able to see the condition record information. This is sales organization, distribution channel, material combination. It is maintained. Okay, let's uh, go to VK12. Okay, GW. GWHH, let's click this. And this is our sales organization. And this is our distribution channel. Let's go to the change mode in VK12. Let's select this. Okay. Here, two scenarios are available. I'll show you quickly. Okay. In configuration. So if you delete this, okay. Now see this the deletion indicator is set up. Okay. For this, we have a specific configuration. Okay, let's save this as of now. Okay, now it is got deleted. Now let's go to VK12. Okay, if you would like to see again. Okay, the condition record still, whatever the condition record is deleted, it is available. That will be controlled through configuration. You can able to see this deletion ID is there. Let me show you that. Uh, let me try to create a sales order first. Okay. So that you know you can able to see whether the condition record is deleted or not. Okay, probably maybe another duplication condition record also get maintained. Okay, let's double click this. If you come here in conditions, you're not able to see GWHH that you can able to find in analysis. Probably we'll do one dedicated video. What is the advantage of analysis? See, now it is got deleted. Okay, so that's why the condition record is not available. Let's go to v slash 06. Let me show you GWHH. This is the condition. It can be any condition for that matters. For my for my scenario, I have done like this. Let's come here. Okay, see, don't delete it. Just assign the deletion flag. That's what this is the place where. So like, uh, let me select this with pop-up. Okay. It will come and second one is without pop-up. Okay, let's go to VK11 again, okay, press enter. So let's try to enter the same material. Let's try to maintain some 10 percenters. Okay, so let's save this. Okay, now let's go to the sales order quickly so that you know it will be available again. I will show you the second scenario. So Let's click this. So let's come here. So let's double click. Okay. Simply go to the conditions, either header item or uh, just uh, say now it is 10 percent is it is applied. Okay. So it is calculated zero that has a different story. Okay. So because uh, one more condition I have deleted. So anyhow, whatever it may be the value, let's go to the PK12 again. Okay, let's come here. Let's execute this button. Let's select this and try to click on this one. Okay, delete a row. So now it is asking the condition type GWH is set so that you know deletion indicator set the condition record can be physically deleted from the database. Do you want to delete the condition record? That means, no deletion indicator. It will be deleted permanently for this. For this, you will get a pop-up here. Okay. So let's save this. Okay. This is one kind of thing. And let me show you another way. Let's try to maintain VK11. Okay. Anyhow, this is deleted again. Let me try to maintain this one. So 1% is. Let's save this. Okay. 
Now I again create a sales order. I will show you another scenario within the configuration. Okay, let's double click here. Go to conditions. You can able to see this with one percentage. Let's save this. Okay, let me go to configuration again. Oh, order I saved. Huh? Okay, no problem. So let's go to slash and v slash 06 again. Okay, so what is our condition type? GWHH. You can go over here. Let's select this. Let's try to see. So with pop-up means without pop-up, it won't give any information. Okay, that's an area. So let me show you. So you can able to see this uh, three type of way of deletion with pop-up, without pop-up and flag for deletion. Okay, so let's go to B slash. So, so, so sorry, we get all again, go. You can able to delete it. Delete this one. Okay. Okay. Let me try to let me check the config again one more time. Okay, now information message you are not getting, right? Okay, so let's go to, we have deleted already. Let's go to VK12, press enter. Let's execute, nothing will be there. So you have a three scenarios. One is flag for deletion, so that you know condition record will be deleted, but it's still available in the database. Only set for flag for deletion, the condition record is not available for work. Second scenario, Okay, is with with pop up like you know it will be physically deleted from database and it's showing the pop up and third one is like you know it will not show the pop up and still it will be physically deleted from the database. Okay, if you want you can able to check in the sales order. It still will not be available. Okay, so even you cannot able to recover this. So but I will show you in my next video. So it's important, I will show you how you can able to, suppose if it is physically deleted, also where you can able to access it. That is my next video. Stay tuned with me. And so that's all for today. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Don't miss this. I have two, I have currently 5,000 plus students in that. My top course is this pricing. Okay, if you really want it, you can subscribe and learn this course. And you can utilize this one. This is again, I have done at advanced level in standard and real time scenarios. This is advanced level pricing concepts. You can try these two courses so that you know you will not have any doubt. Around 20 plus courses available. I'm just providing those links below of this video of the description. You can click and you can subscribe and you can learn. So you can see this, these two courses, these two courses or specifically, you know, pointing out for pricing. This is one of my top course because this is my favorite topic. If you really want it, you can subscribe and learn all these courses. Okay. If you have doubt in pricing. Thank you so much. Wishing you all the best. Have a great day. Let's catch up in next session. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you.